Hey everybody, welcome back, Alex here. Some people have mentioned in the comments that there is a way to speed up my Xcode builds. So today I wanna to try this out. But first, we need to measure how long things take normally. I'm gonna use this project called Xcode Benchmark. This is a project on GitHub, available for you to check out if you wanna try this yourself. This is a project that includes uh, 42 popular CocoaPod libraries and 70 plus dependencies in total. You can even go to the repo and find out what speeds are people getting. This Ryzen Tosh, that's pretty good, 71 seconds. Now the times that I did get just for the build, getting it directly from the repository and doing the build without any changes to Xcode, and this is Xcode 13.3.1, by the way. Here are my results. I've got 68 seconds uh, right now. I ran this three times, by the way, I got 77, 73, and 68. Okay, so that's the range that we're working with, and that's what we're trying to beat. You know what, I'm gonna run this one more time just so that we can check out the CPU history while it's running. It doesn't take that long. So while that's running, let's have a glance at the activity monitor, pop open the CPU history there, and this is running on the M1 Ultra Mac Studio, so it has 20 cores, as you can see right there. And you can see that, well, it seems to be using a lot of the cores. I mean, it seems to be using all the cores from this graphic. So I don't know how much more performance we can squeeze out of this, but we'll check. Now, while that's running, I just want to show you some of the comments that folks left. Here we go. John Google says, did you try to enable the Apple blah, 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 this integration flag? What the heck is that? Well, if you go to the Xcode 13.3 release notes under the build system features, this is a new feature where you can enable this setting, enable Swift build system integration, and supposedly this will better utilize the available cores, not just utilize them, because clearly it's already utilizing them, but better utilize them. It also mentions Swift, and this project might be using Swift, or it might be using Objective-C libraries. Let's see if I can just do a quick search. So there is a Swift component to it. So the whole thing is not Swift, but there is a Swift component. So we should see some improvements if we run this. Let's check it out. All right, it's done now. Let's have a look at the time. And this one took 69 seconds. So we're in the same range. By the way, Robert here adds, while this build and succeeds and runs fine in the simulator, but there seems to be an issue with building and running on a real device. I haven't tried that yet. I'm just doing the build to see if the build is faster. And he also suggested taking a look at this GitHub repo, Xcode defaults by CT refs titled awesome and useful Xcode defaults. Thanks for that. I did check it out and here it is. Basically, this is a documentation by this person, CT refs. Who is that? Let's see. Christian Treffs, okay? So he documented all these settings for Xcode, how you can make things better, more performant, and just different things you can try. Of course, not all these will apply to everybody's builds, but some of them might. Oh, uh, before you go and change any of your settings, back up Xcode defaults. I already ran this and I saved my Xcode defaults to the desktop right here. And you can take a look at the file. It's a plist file, so you can open up in a text editor. That's what mine looks like right now. So I want to start with this one because this sets the maximum number of concurrent compile tasks. Now it's setting it to 20. This little command right here is going to get the number of processors I have. So if we run that command, you'll see that it's 20. So that setting, the compile task setting should set it to 20. So let's copy that. And I'm going to paste it here, copying and pasting and running code from the internet. Always a smart thing to do. Don't do this at home, kids. He looks like a nice guy, right? This guy, we can trust him. Look, he's got a face you can trust. Maybe, I don't know. He works for companies. All right, we'll believe him. So I did that. Now there should be a new setting in my new Xcode defaults file. Let's save that to my desktop. And I wanna open this up and have a look at it in VS Code. And there it is. Okay, so there's a new setting right there in that file. ID build operation number of concurrent compile tasks equals 20. Okay, so I did that. Let's run the build again, the benchmark, and uh, see if that makes a difference. Now, we're probably not going to see anything visually in history because, well, anything different, I should say, because uh, you already had 20 processors that was using 20 cores from the previous build, from the default build. So I don't know how this is going to look any different, but perhaps the time we'll get might be different. I don't know. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. We're at 70 seconds, so it doesn't look like it did much. But to ensure that this setting is even working, 
why don't we try setting this to uh, something less? We're going to try to limit the number of cores we're using to eight. Let's see if that even does anything. I'm going to run the benchmark one more time. Now, looking at it from a purely visual standpoint, we are seeing less on processors 13, 14. By the way, I say processors, not cores. All right, sue me. Sometimes I say threads, sometimes I say cores, okay? You can complain down in the comments. <laughs> and some of you do. All right, so cores. Look at this. The cores uh, 13 through 16 are getting less usage this time around. So maybe this is actually a thing that works. But I didn't see any difference in setting it to 20. So maybe 20 is now the default. Maybe it just uses all of them by default anyway. I hope this doesn't take forever because I got to go have lunch. It's done. Let's have a look. Okay, 96 seconds. So there is a big difference there. So that setting does do something. It just doesn't help me in this case. I'm going to set this back to 20. There is something else I want to try, and that's this right here. So th that first setting I tried had nothing to do with Swift. That was just a general number of cores for compilation. But this one enables the new build system mode in Xcode 13.3 and higher. So let's see if this improves my builds. All right, I'm going to set this up and uh, let's run that. Let's save that off as a new defaults file. I just want to have a quick glance at it. Now, I don't see it in there. Enable Swift build system integration. I did write it to defaults. OK, well, I'm going to run the benchmark anyway and let's see what happens. OK, now let's have a look at this. Here is the history in graphical mode and it's looking like all the cores are being used. This graphical mode is not giving me much information here in this case, but the build is done. Let's have a look. 70 seconds. So in this case, it didn't really help me out much if it's even on. I'm going to run that command one more time because that was very unsatisfying. I'm going to run that. If I wrote to that file, this new setting, shouldn't that be in the file now? I'm going to save this as Xcode defaults for plist on the desktop right there. Let's have a look at it. No, it's not in the file. So I don't know if this is having any effect or not, because I don't see that being written to the file. So if anybody knows about this or where that setting goes, <laughs> let me know in the comments and I'm sure everybody else would appreciate it too. Thank you. There's another setting here in this repository that suggests set maximum number of parallel build subtasks. Let's try it. I'm not, uh, I don't know what that is, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, let's write this out to plist5. Let's have a look at it. And I want to find this setting in here. There it is. PBX number of parallel build subtasks equals 20. Let's try this out. See if this improves our build speed. Okay, this is done now. Let's have a look. We're still hovering around 70 seconds, folks. Very anticlimactic over here. I think I know why I'm not seeing that setting. I thought this was writing to the same file, but actually this is different. This file or this list of settings is not the same as this list of settings. Look at that. This one is Xcode and this one is XC build. Come on, you were watching me the whole time. You could have said something. So instead of reading this file or these settings, I should have been reading XC build defaults. And that's coming from XC build. All right, there it is. Let's have a look at this one. And this one only has one setting in it, and that's the global flag enable Swift build system integration. So that is in there, but it had no effect on this project. And that could probably be due to the fact that this project might not have that much Swift in it. Although when I take a look at Max Remenko's uh, blog post about the benchmark that he wrote, he says performance on a large Swift project. So I guess this is a large Swift project. I haven't actually looked inside the code or dug into it, so I'm not 100% certain what's in there. I've always kind of just ran it and benchmarked it and measured, but maybe it's time to dig in. So looking at the packages and the pods that he is including here, he's got all these libraries in there, and there are a few of them that end in Swift. So those are probably the Swift libraries. Here's another one, but there are also a lot of Objective-C libraries here as well. 
If anybody has a benchmark with just Swift stuff, I'd love to try it out here. Or if you want to just post a comment linking to that, that would be great. Well, if we learned anything today, it's that this Xcode defaults repository exists with some hopefully useful tips for people to check out. But there are also some interesting tools down here at the bottom that he lists. And I haven't checked these out myself, but uh, if you want me to go into it, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.